real nice talking to you. You keep in touch, you hear? We have a unique experiment to conduct today. Our colleagues on the research staff, Drs. Joyce Baxter and Paul Hankins, have brought Mrs. Edna McCauley, a bona fide healer, here to the Institute for testing. Today she has agreed to attempt to deal on an experimental level with a human subject. A Miss Louise Kaufner, who's suffering from dystonia muscularum deformans, has volunteered to participate. Now, with this disease, Stereotaxic cryosurgery has produced some relief in some cases. But although Louise has had the surgery, no relief has been evident. Uh, Mrs. McCauley, would you like to say anything? No, thank you. Uh, Mrs. McCauley will begin. Louise, I don't know if I can help you, but I'm going to try, all right? It's all right if you can't. I've never known anything else. <laughs> Just gonna lift your head. All right. Okay. Now you just feel my hands getting a little warm. That's part of it. They won't burn you or anything. Don't help me. Let me do it all, okay? All right. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right. Just give me your head. Lena. That's it. Give me all your weight. Okay. Now try and relax.
you down for two days. How are you feeling? How's Louise? She's well into me. I know how, but she is. That's wonderful. There's some reporters outside who want to talk to you. My father's dying. I called yesterday about your father. How could you know that? Would you get the nurse for me, please, Gil? Come on, I want to see him before he goes. I wanted that baby, Daddy. I didn't feel any shame for not being married. God help me, I let you bring that old horse doctor in here to kill that little girl and scrape me out so nothing would ever grow inside me again. What happened that made you so hard? What hurt you? What made you stop loving? Daddy, you drove us all away from you. All of us. Mama into her silence where she stayed until she died of grief. Sam to Vietnam where they killed. Daddy, listen, I want you to know that I still love you, and I can help you now, honest, I can. I know that you know you're dying, and I know that you're afraid, but you don't have to be. See, when I had that accident, I died, I mean, just for a few minutes. But I saw it, and it's beautiful. It is. Everyone's there. Mama and Sam and Joe, and Mr. Condon, the grocer, and Mr. Stratton. Do you remember him? And Daddy, there's music, bells and chimes, and you, you begin to feel like, like you understand everything. And you don't feel your body anymore. And there's this light. And it's so bright and loving. And you can feel it reaching out for you. And everybody that's there, Mama and Joe and Sam, everybody is helping you do it. And then pretty soon, you begin to understand that you made it the same life. Grandma Pearl is here, and Uncle Eli, and Aunt Carrie, and everybody, and I've been telling them about it, and they want to come and say goodbye to you. What is it, Daddy? Tell me. Light. 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 